All right, so um, a little bit of post-mortem analysis here. So uh, White's going to start with e4, and I'm going to decide to play the Pert's defense. It um, keeps the e-pawn from advancing while I go ahead and develop my knight. And uh, good, everything's typical. Knight defends the white pawn after I uh, did attack the e4 pawn. And then I'm getting ready to fianchette on my bishop. And uh, white apparently, it, it almost looks like a three knights transition. <clears throat> but here I am in move five, and I'm already castled. So that's kind of cool. All right, so he brings the bishop out, most likely in order to castle. My goal was to fianchetto the bishop. And, uh, but just before that, I wanted to make sure that I had some double protection on my, on my knight. Um, of course, the fianchetto of the bishop, then go ahead and push the e-pawn, and it, then it, it becomes a Sicilian dragon. Uh, but he pushes early. Okay, fine. So we're going to go ahead and take. He's going to retake. And then I go ahead and indirectly, well, directly attack the pawn. But having moved my knight, I discover another attack on the pawn. So now I have, I, I pretty much own that piece. And uh, I can't kind of figure out what that was about, but... Uh, Maybe to put a little bit of pressure on my F pawn. Uh, so I go up and capture anyway. And now I have an attack opportunity, a fork literally, um, with his knight and his bishop. And I am also, my knight's defended. So he's going to go ahead and move the bishop out of the way. And now I still have a series of attacks. Um, that knight actually protects my pawn that I just moved to attack the bishop. Okay, he retreats the bishop. And that allows me to go ahead and trade out queens. Um, I, uh, we, I was actually up a pawn, so trading is fine. <clears throat> and I've gone ahead and checked the king. And he's going to retake. And since we have a wide open center, I really, really want to keep my bishops. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to trade off bishops as, if I can. And now I put the squeeze on his rook. He's going to have to move that off. Now, I want to be careful. Um, his white bishop, well... Here, here's some possibles. His white bishop takes pawn, my knight takes bishop, his rook can go ahead and move down and uh, take my uh, e-pawn at will. I kind of don't like that idea, uh, but let's go ahead and, and take the open, the open file. And now he puts a little pressure on my knight. Um, and uh, by moving my rook off the a-file, I also uh, release the pressure off that C pawn in case I need to do something with him. So uh, I go ahead and uh, pretty much force him to trade off a bishop, uh, lest he lose a rook. So that's what he does. That's what I do. Good. Now, now I'm up a bishop uh, uh, to a knight, which is kind of what I want. All right. So we have a nice little uh, attack there. So I'm just going to move my bishop out of the way. King's going to come forward. Can't go any farther at this point. And uh, I go ahead and I'm trying to get pigs on the seventh, if anyone's familiar with that term. I uh, am now attacking his pawn at C. And like I said, I just, I just need pigs. Uh, on the second, I would have moved my rook and doubled them up on the D file. But he's going to go ahead and try to protect it with his rook, which is fine because now I get to trade it off. Um, so first I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of put the kibosh on his, on his rook there. Uh, I'm trying to think what he was... Okay, he was going to check and then come back. Well, I still have that square covered. 
on that knight move. Um, so I go ahead and just take his rook. That's fine. He takes my... Oh, that's right. The trade. Duh. Um, well, like I said, uh, I kind of want a bishop game. So let's go ahead and trade off bishops. And in the process, I ruin his, um, his pawn structure. Doubled pawns is not a happy... It's not a happy day. So let's go ahead and reattack. I control the file. Um, not much he can do here. Uh, his green squares on D and C are covered. And uh, really his only place that he can do anything at all is from the G5 position. And uh, I just decided let's just let's just finish off the rugs here. Um, I don't know if computers like this move. I don't care. I just happen to know that I'm in a position to win with not only excellent pawn structure, but the extra pawn. And I am now playing an open center with a bishop. Yay. Um, and my goal actually, it, it sounds weird, counterintuitive, but you really do want to get your pawns off the color of the square that your bishop's on. So my goal actually, uh, time permitting, is to get my pawns on the green squares. All right, so I'm almost there on the C pawn. Um, and I have uh, F and H to worry about, but uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. Well, he pushes the C pawn out of the way, which is fine, so I would have taken it, of course. And um, this move I wanted to ensure that uh, his place on g5 now with the knight is unacceptable. So there is really nowhere for him to put that knight. Um, there's no happy place. Uh, so he's pushing some pawns now. I like to be careful with too many pawn pushes because I may need I may need the time. Pawns are excellent time wasters or time grabbers. So if you get in a position where you really can't move a piece because it's going to put you in jeopardy, and there's no damage, you can always push a pawn and give yourself what's called a tempo, a little move. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start mobilizing my king now because I'm going to attack the queen side. Um, I have a knight against, uh, uh, again, I, I have a bishop against a knight. Um, the knight is no match at this point. So I'm just gonna keep pushing my, pushing my uh, king and um, Went ahead and just decided to move his knight off that square so I can continue to move my king. <clears throat> and this little maneuver, I wanted to make sure that he couldn't jump ahead with his a pawns. All right, I don't want to get in a position where I, I have a I have a three against three. Um, so there we go. There's a there's a neat little push, and. Um, Again, I'm just going to eventually wiggle my way over with my king to the uh, to the queen side, all the way into the corner if I have to. And now he's mobilizing his king, but his king can't go any farther than g4. I have that pretty much locked off. And uh, I was hoping maybe I could get him to uh, rush over the queen side and take care of a couple of pawns, but... Uh, it turned out that didn't quite work. Now, this is interesting. How many of you would actually take that piece? No way, man. Because I, I want to hold that I want to hold that pawn at A. So I'm going to go ahead and push that pawn. All right, this is gorgeous. Because if he jumps twice, if he jumps all the way to A4, I take him on passant, and I'm on my way. Um, so his, his A pawn is a fixture there. He can't do nothing about it. And uh, so he's wiggling his knight around, going to fork my bishop and my king on e3. Uh, but no worries, I'm just going to go ahead and scoop up his pawns one by one. He can't push the a pawn anywhere, there's nothing you can do with it. The b pawn is obviously locked in place. Uh, he could push the c pawn, but um, again, after I get rid of that pawn on b, I'm just going to march a up the up the ranks with my king as a defender and that'll be the end of that so he checks me the only only legal move in the entire board all i have is king to uh, e6 so there we have it 
and he does push his uh, C pawn and I'm just going to start scarfing up uh, pawns. Um, that was an interesting move and that attacks my B pawn and um, and the only way to defend it is this move right here. Boom. A5. Um, now there's nothing. He doesn't have any play on A. He can't take B. Um, he could fork me at D4. But at the same time, I just move where I want to move anyway. King to D5. And uh, there's no way for him to, to do anything. Now, here I'm just planning on moving my king to d4, d3. He's going to jump over to a1 in order to hold on to that b-pawn because he's already got his king in charge. The, the king has at least one, two moves to get back out of what he just did. Uh, I think he was trying to push through the uh, push through the pawns on the king side, hoping to beat me on the king side to where I was going to get him on the a side. But... After all is said and done, I counted the moves, and there was no way he could do it. I mean, you can literally from here count the moves, and there's 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 no way to uh, to beat to beat this position. I have uh, one, two, three. By the fourth move, his knight is gone, and it's nothing for me to go ahead and just uh, take the game out. So. He pushes the F pawn, I take, and then here's the here's the game ending move. Um, king takes on F5, and I go ahead and pin his knight, little a skewer actually, to the the king, and uh, my opponent resigns at this point. Sure, um, I, I'm not into the let's go ahead and mate in 12.7 moves, man. I'm I'm a bloody victor. Um, I take his knight out, then I take his pawn, and then I just eat up all the pawns first. Um, or leave one to make sure he has a legal move in case I blow it and uh, stalemate him. I've done that before. God, that's embarrassing. Don't do that. All right, so anyway, there we go. Great game. Um, it really was uh, an excellent battle. Uh, my hat's off to the opponent. He's 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 a novice. He says he is, and... and uh, Again, I haven't played in over 20 years, but anyway, it really is a fun game. I do enjoy it. Um, I've never really studied openings. I studied more concepts. I know the concepts. Um, I know how to count. I know the king square. I know the positions that are good. Um, instead of me memorizing a bunch of moves and a bunch of mates, I've always been just kind of one of those players. I guess like Paul Morphy. I like to just... Uh, just get my hands dirty and you know, get myself into trouble and get myself back out. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. We'll talk again soon. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if they still exist. Uh, either way, um, just a lot of fun. I'd pick it up if I were you.